Hello and welcome. We're continuing to read on in the book of Psalms, and tonight we find ourselves in Psalm chapter 61. This has been identified as a personal lament, although we could say that many can share uh, in this psalm together. As we read the psalm, we see God as the faithful one to provide refuge and strength for his people. The psalm writer is identified as David, and in this psalm, he is seeking that the Lord would prolong the king's rule. And this is interesting uh, because David is the king, but we can say that a king who is fearing the Lord is benefiting the people of God and leading them in the worship of the Lord. And that's really how this psalm ends in worship and praise to God. He says, so I will sing praise to your name forever. And so as we read this psalm, we're reminded of the faithfulness of God to his people. And we are also reminded of our desire as the people of God to find refuge in him. That the Lord often uses our life and the circumstances of our lives to draw us closer to him. And this is no different with the king. Uh, David himself uh, suffered many, many trials as king. David suffered at the hand of Saul. David also suffered when he fell to his own temptation in sinning against the Lord and committing adultery with Uriah's wife Bathsheba. When we look at this psalm, uh, we can all see that the Lord is strong and mighty and able to provide shelter for us, able to provide a place of refuge for us. So if you have your Bible open, you can turn to Psalm 61 with me. We'll read through the psalm together, and then we'll seek the Lord for his help in prayer. Psalm 61. For the choir director on a stringed instrument, a psalm of David. Hear my cry, O God. Give heed to my prayer. From the end of the earth I call to you when my heart is faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been a refuge for me, a tower of strength against the enemy. Let me dwell in your tent forever. Let me take refuge in the shelter of your wings. For you have heard my vows, O God. You have given me the inheritance of those who fear your name. You will prolong the king's life. His years will be as many generations. He will abide before God forever. Appoint loving kindness and truth that they may preserve him. So I will sing praise to your name forever, that I may pay my vows day by day. Where would we be without the strength and shelter of the Lord in our life? This fallen world that we live in that is so greatly affected by the sin of mankind, we seek the Lord almost continually. There are days that are wonderful and beautiful, the days that every, everything in our life seems to be going well and okay, but there are far too many days that we seek the Lord for help, uh, not only for help in our own life, but for the lives of those around us as we live in a world that has fallen and cursed. But thanks be to God that we have the gospel of Jesus Christ and a hope that will not disappoint us that he died for our sins and he secured our forgiveness, even our redemption. And so let's seek the Lord and pray through this beautiful psalm that reminds us that God is a stronghold for us. Lord, we come unto you and we thank you that you indeed hear the cries of your people. Attend unto our prayer. Lord, you are a shelter that is strong. Lord, you are a tower, a place of refuge for your people. And Lord, we ask that you would shelter us, Lord, under your wing. Lord, that you would care for us, Lord. And though we know suffering is a part of our sanctification in this life, I pray that you would be with us, Lord, that you would never leave us or forsake us as you have promised. And Lord, we thank you that indeed you have given us a wonderful expression of love and in sending us your word, Lord, that we can look upon it and read in it 
Lord, that is instruction for us, but it is also a place where we read about your precious and magnificent promises. And we know, Lord, that you've given us everything we need, Lord, that we are lacking nothing. And Father, this is the result of your grace and kindness and loving kindness toward us through your Son, Jesus. Lord, thank you for sending us a Savior who so humbly died in our place. May we live for him. Lord, indeed, you are a tower of strength against the enemy. And Lord, let us take refuge in the shelter of your wings. Let us always seek after you for help, Lord. That, Lord, that we would abide before you forever. And Lord, that we would sing praise to your name forever. Lord, what a wonderful thought that one day we will be in your wonderful heaven, Lord, that you have secured for your people who have trusted in the Savior, repented of sin. Lord, that we will sing forever unto you. But Lord, may we not wait. Fill our hearts with song even now, Lord, to sing unto your great name. I pray uh, for the blood-bought people of this wonderful church that you've established, Lord, here in Youngstown, Sovereign Grace. And I pray, Lord, that your people here would seek you for refuge and then worship you for the strength that you provide, Lord, as they seek you as a shelter in their life, Lord. Strengthen us, help us to persevere in this life and to always seek to lay hold of your precious promises for us, Lord. We love you and we thank you in your name. Amen. Thank you for spending time in the Psalms. I pray this is continually a help to you as it has been for me. And as always, if you find verses that stand out to you, I strongly encourage you uh, to put them to memory, to do the work of memorizing scripture, hiding it in your heart, that you can seek after the Lord and pray earnestly uh, through the scripture daily. Amen.